What's going on, my little pickles? It's your BFF Workshop here, and I'm coming at you with entry number 22 of the June Vlog Challenge 2020. What the fuck are you doing? Already 10 seconds in. <laughs> so. I thought you had a dog dude, hair in your ear, but really you just have old man hair in your ear. Pussy willows in my ear. Mm -hmm. uh, so June 22nd, 2020. Happy National Onion Ring Day. We just discovered that about two minutes ago. That it's National Onion Ring Day, and uh, we had onion rings yesterday. I did not have onion rings yesterday. Oh, I had, I had French fries, and uh, but you and Jess had onion rings yesterday for lunch. And uh, as you can see, I did not fire my wife. She's still here. Um, both both exhausted. Um, I apparently only slept like five hours, which it felt like I slept like two for some reason. Like I just took a nap before I went to work. It's like, yeah, I'm taking a nap. So I'm gonna fix that. Yeah. Make it less, less jiggly. There we go. Let's see if that made it more stable. Stable. Yeah. And uh, so she had a day from hell. I had a very interesting day as well. And um, yeah, so I'll let her tell her little tale of her day. Definitely the definition of a Monday. Well, you see, <laughs> you see. my bad luck from yesterday continued on to today started with the beans but colin got even with me because he left a milk based protein shake yeah, in my car to pick it up. over the weekend and it exploded from the you know temperature change and the expansion in the sealed container um so my car currently smells like chocolate vomit which is terrible and I did not discover this fact until I was leaving for work this morning, so I didn't have time to clean it. Um, so he's gonna clean it when I get home. Yes, I am. And... After foods. Yes, after foods, <laughs> because I have not eaten all day. So then, right about lunchtime, when, you know, I was gonna go get my food. As you do. Um, our delivery driver called us and he had a flat tire on the van. No big deal, you just change the tire, right? Well, um, it's kind of difficult to change the tire without a lug wrench. And the lug wrench for the van was not in there. We had to order a new part because we don't know where it went. Which is weird. It is weird because we weird. have never had to change the tire before. Um, anytime that there's been tire damage, it's been, you know, like driving over a nail or something and we just, air it up a little bit and get it to a discount tire and get it fixed, get it fixed and it's fine. So this was not one of those times. This was not one of those times. Um, the tire popped. Um, so I, being the manly woman that I am, carry a lug wrench in my car as well as a jack as well as an air compressor and uh, power cables, jumper cables is where I was looking for. Um, so I offered to go take the lug wrench to him. Unfortunately, the lug wrench that I had my tiny Prius was not big enough for Amen. the van. <laughs> so I had to call Colin, who was on his way back to work from his lunch break, when he did get to eat. Barely. Um, <laughs> but I got to eat. And Unlike you, unfortunately. Uh, he has, I have a four cross lug nut or lug wrench um you know with four different sizes uh that i bought when i got a previous car um you say his name um that was i bought i didn't buy that when i got severus i bought ziggy. that when i got ziggy okay um well you say his name too because he's no longer with us no he's not <laughs> he's definitely not um ziggy and severus r.i.p yeah but um so, I, uh, um, sorry, got distracted. So, I had to call Colin because we put that in his car because his car did not come with a lug wrench. And so, one of those sides fits his car. So, I had the little one that fits my car and then we put the big one in his. So, he and he had my jack, too. Yeah, he had my jack, too. So... He stopped by. Thankfully, we weren't like on the side of the road or something. No, yeah, um, luckily, luckily. We broke down at a business, so it was 
was it was all good. a quiet business at that. Um, the definition of quiet. Yeah, it was at a funeral home. Well, some would so, say dead, I mean, silent. That was awful. But what was it? So Colin dropped him off for me, and the delivery driver and I got the van jacked up. But the problem was that our jacks didn't go high enough. Okay, I, I've never changed a tire on a van, so could have just put it in the wrong place. I'm not sure. Well, both of them. We had both of them under there. Um, but even with the jacks all the way up, we couldn't get it high enough to actually change the tire. But we got it up high enough to get the flat off. So we got the broken tire off. Um, and then we tried to get the spare out. And the lug wrench that's missing is part of a tool kit that is needed to get that spare tire off from underneath the van. So our driver spent about 10 minutes underneath the van. Um, he couldn't figure out how to do it. Uh, I'm a control freak, so I spent 20 minutes under the van. And I even had my dad on speakerphone. I was like, Dad, I can't figure this out. Like, I don't understand why this isn't coming loose. Um, so I kind of ghetto rigged a way to make it work without the part that we were missing. And I th really think it would have worked, but I think the biggest problem is that we've never had to use the spare before. So that spare has never come off from under there. And I think those parts are probably kind of rusty and stuck. And I didn't have any WD-40 with me. so. Um, we ended up taking it, we just loaded the tire into the back of my car, left the van there, we took it back, the boss went and took it to get a new tire put on the rim, and then the wonderful friend of the family that we have at Discount Tire went and put the, the repaired tire back on the van for us so that I didn't have to go back out there. Um, and he brought a, a jack that would actually get it up higher um which I, again i think i just put the jacks in the wrong place um he said he was going to show me how to do it so that way somebody knows how to do it at the shop just in case that ever happens again it hasn't ever come up before but um, it'll come up again. yeah who knows it's not exactly a planned thing you don't plan for a blow tire mm -hmm. Um, you don't plan on blowing tire. <laughs> but God was totally looking out for us. It was my driver's last delivery on that run. So he didn't have flowers sitting in the hot van or anything like that. And it was, um, there were enough deliveries that my other driver, we have two drivers, and there was enough deliveries that the other driver could finish them. And it was, I mean, it was okay. Um, but when I got back to the shop, I was just tired and hot. I mean, when I got home, the back of my neck where I had these little baby hairs pinned up was still wet from the sweat. I, get this um, <laughs> I still have asphalt tar. You can't see it. Oh, yeah, you can. That big old dirty spot is not a bruise. It's no. asphalt and dirt from being under the van. So I was tired and I was hot and I didn't have an appetite. So she, my wonderful boss, kept telling me to go eat and I was like, I, I can't. At this point, I mean, I get off at 4.30. I might as well just wait. Um, but like I mentioned yesterday, I haven't had my pills in three days either. I, I took it this morning, but it's not just a, you know, one day and you're back to normal. Yeah, it, takes it takes a few days to get regulated again. And so I overexerted myself without thinking about it. I haven't had to think about it in a really long time. Um, so now I kind of feel dead. Um, I feel like... I, I I fell asleep. I mean, I got home and I laid down and I totally passed out. And I did for a bit too. Um, so it's definitely been a Monday, the Monday oh, yeah. of Mondays. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, so I ran into a little snag also today. It wasn't like actually a few snags. You know, I only lost my temper once, but luckily I was in the car by myself and you know. I'm my biggest shoulder and the biggest ear to lend to myself. So I uh, legitimately uh, just cussed for a couple minutes and then I was, I was good, I was over it. Um, one of them was, uh, they did not give me a return label for the jacket I had to reorder for the tuxedo rental for Chris's wedding. Super rental. It says tuxedo on this thing. Oh, it's just because it's just baby. Um, and so they didn't give me a return label, but the other one, the, the, the big package with everything, the, the tie and the shoes and everything that came with the return label. But this uh, jacket.
think it did not. And so I was like, okay. So we talked about it last night that I was going to use my lunch break to uh, get it taken care of and get it shipped back and everything. Because you're supposed to do it uh, one business day after the wedding. Otherwise, they charge you for it, you know, all that good stuff. And yesterday was a Sunday, so it wasn't a business day. So I had to do it today. There was no ifs, ands, or buts. I had to do it today. Um, and so I get to, and I, I can only drop it off at a FedEx. So I had to go back in my uh, my memory bank and be like, okay, where the hell is the closest FedEx to my work? And I just realized, oh, not one close at all. There's one probably closest to where she works, but not where I work. So I had to uh, commute for a little bit. But while I was driving to said FedEx, um, I had to call uh, customer service for uh, Joseph A. Bank. I never talked to one living, breathing person at all. Um, they, they kept playing the, uh, the, the holding music and then like every once in a while they'd be like, thank you for your patience. Please continue to stay on the line. And I'm like, uh. And then sometimes they'd do it back to back. Like it'd be like five minutes of music and then thank you for your patience. Please continue to stay on the line. And then like not even 10 seconds later, thank you for your patience. I'm like, what the hell is this? So I got very furious very quickly because of that. And uh, yeah, never got a hold of anybody. So I, I said, screw it, hung up. And then uh, FedEx informed me that it would cost me $18 to ship it back to Houston where it came from. I was like, oh, thanks Joseph A. Bank, appreciate you. Not only did you give me the wrong jacket size, but I had to pay money to uh, give you your ship back so I wouldn't get charged for it. So that's how that goes. Um, and it was just, it was just a whole ordeal. Uh, I, I, like I said, I ate, but I barely ate. Um, I grabbed an unwitch and devoured it in like a minute because I was on hold and I was like, they could be, they could be getting back to me any second. So I need to hurry up and eat this. So I literally just sat in the parking lot and Michael, one of the uh, groomsmen from the wedding was returning his stuff. And he's all knocking. He's like, hey, you know, what are you doing? I'm like, I've been at home for 30 freaking minutes. And he's like, really? I was like, yeah, no return label. He's like, that sucks. And he just, in the time it took me to uh, get mad all over again, Michael had dropped his stuff off and left and went back to work. <laughs> I was just like, good. So uh, even though they have all my information and all my measurements and stuff like that, um, the two other weddings that I have to do in the near future, um, I'm going to recommend they go someplace else because if there's a snag, if there's a problem and, uh, you know, I'm going to turn over here, um, you know, in a time crunch, maybe Joseph A. Bank is not the most reliable. No, um, I, I know it's probably the coronavirus and they probably had to cut back staff and that means more waiting time and this and that, but, uh, I really could have gotten screwed today. Um, royally screwed today. Well, um, and you wouldn't have had to ship it if it weren't for the coronavirus because the Amarillo office Yeah, been yeah, open. exactly. So, like, I don't I, know. I, I don't know. I, I can't really blame them. No, no, but, like, you know, just, like, currently in this moment in time, yeah, it was a major inconvenience. And easily, I, I'm not the only one that could have potentially There was a kitten in that backyard, and he looked like Morty, but he was fluffy. But he was fluffy. Was he big or was he tiny? He was little. He was little kitten. So, um, yeah, as of right now, yeah, it's a minor, actually major inconvenience. But, uh, yeah, easily could have been avoided because we have one here in Amarillo. They're just not allowed to open yet um, for some weird reason. The one in Lubbock can, but the one in Amarillo can't. It's so. Amarillo is a hot spot. I mean, eh, I kind of get that, but Lubbock got positive tests before we did. That's just because they had testing before we did. Well, that's true, because they're a major college university town, so... They, uh, they got on top of that ish and we just have the uh, community college here but I mean yeah it was, it was definitely Monday but again you know I didn't let it get to me like I said I only cussed for a couple of minutes and I was over it uh, mostly I'm just also like her not as her but uh, I'm pretty tired as well today um, I don't know why I I felt like I, I didn't sleep at all but my uh, Fitbit told me you slept five and a half hours which is still garbage um, cause I'm supposed to sleep eight technically. So it yells at me when it's like, mm. so the past few, uh, few, uh, I've had a few days where it's like, they gave me a terrible sleep score. And right now I'm just sitting right at the fair line, right at fair, you know, C's get degrees type of thing. So yeah, anyway, that's our day. 
didn't mean to make it like a downer, but it's definitely a Monday, and uh, didn't mean to, to bitch and moan and groan about it, but uh, I mean, yeah, that's all I got. Anything else you want to talk about before we go devour these these chicken? Because we got we got Chicken Express, which is kind of like God's gift to the Texas Panhandle. So if you're ever in the Texas Panhandle, Chicken Express for show. All right, guys, we're gonna get out of here. Thank you so much once again for dropping by. Enjoy the rest of your week going forward. Hopefully, it gets better. You know, it's all downhill from here. All that good stuff. And what? All downhill from here? Yeah, because it's. Mm, Oh, I was thinking because we had a bad day that it. No, really like that was the pinnacle, here. and then now yeah, it's yeah, yeah, now yeah. it's easier because yeah. it's easier going down the mountain than going up the mountain. Yeah. yeah. Um, we went up the freaking mountain, and so it's only Monday, so hopefully Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then we're taking off this weekend, so I'm pretty excited about that. We got that to look forward to the rest of the week. So camera cut off once again. So uh, two nights in a row the camera's been cut off. Uh, first one was uh, intentional. This one was definitely not intentional, but we were about finished anyway so you were about to say something yeah i was just about to say that i'm so excited to go home when i called my dad today my dad doesn't like to talk on the phone so i don't actually talk to him on the phone i just text him mm -hmm. I, I mean even for father's day i just texted him a letter and that that was good um but i had to call him today to ask about the tire and stuff and I heard his, and part of it's without my meds because it causes mood swings and all kinds of crap. I've been a bloody mess today, but um, I uh, heard his voice and I started crying because <laughs> I just, I haven't seen my dad no. in, it'll be about six months yeah, I was about to say, it's by the time, minute. well, five, it'll like five and a half, almost six. Um, by the time I do see him, it's been over six months since I've seen my grandma. Um, it's been over six months since I've seen my best friend and my little niece and um, my sister and my little brother and I just like can't handle anymore. So I'm so excited that we're going even if we're only going to get to see everybody for a few hours. Um, it's still better than nothing. Yeah, at least I get to see the Robin. We get to see the Robin? There was a Robin. Where's the Batman? Um, he's right here. But, uh, so, I'm super, super excited. We're gonna leave Friday, um, after work. I have to do a quick little thing for a friend after work, and then, um, okay. we're, we're gonna head out. So we'll probably get into Los Lotus about 10 or 11. Oh, there you go. So, I mean, we'll get there, and we're getting a hotel and everything, so minimize the corona yeah, spread. Yeah, because, uh, you know, because some of the people that she's trying to see, some of them are very susceptible and uh, kind of would like to, you know, not linger more than we need to uh, in certain areas, especially households and stuff like that. So, yeah, let's we'll get especially a hotel. because we just went to a wedding with a bunch of people. Yeah, so. 100 and, I don't remember the, the official head count, but uh, it's uh, over 100. Yeah. More, probably closer to like 125, 130 with, you know, the the wedding party as well as the, the videographer and the photographers and everything like that. Yeah. I'm sure it was well about close to like 1.30 or so. But anyway, guys, something real quick I wanted to say. I wanted to say rest in peace to Joel Schumacher, um, one of the most controversial guys to ever direct a Batman movie. Uh, definitely not the best to ever direct a Batman movie. Movies, he directed two of them. Um, he gave me my favorite Batman, which is Val Kilmer, and my least favorite Batman, which is George Clooney, back to back. That's hard to do. You don't get pork chop like that and then just snatch it away from him like that. Joel Schumacher, you did that and rest in peace. You uh, beautiful, talented, neon light loving man because every Batman movie ever is like neon lights, purple and green and blues and, and all over the place. Not Tim Burton at all, which is dark and gloomy and uh, I'm Batman and I'm going to kill you type of thing. So anyway, just rest in peace to him and uh, you know, thoughts and prayers to his family and all that good stuff. So anyway, guys, we're going to get out of here. Thank you so much once again for dropping by. Enjoy your National Onion Ring Day. Enjoy the rest of the week. And always remember, my little piglets, Colin Porkchop, loves y'all the most. I shall take it easy, guys, and I'll see y'all next time, which is tomorrow, which starts the final week. We're going down to the final seven days of this thing. I can't freaking believe that. Can I you? know. June flew. Bye, guys!